Hey you guys. Today I'm going to be installing some accessories for this Kubota L6060, including these tie-down loops from 511 Designs, as well as full brush guard and wings uh, from 511. And the first order of business is going to be to remove this entire uh, brush guard assembly here at the subframe of the tractor so that we can pull this in. We're going to have to drill and set up this as well as we're going to insert these tie down hooks between the um, the frame of the tractor and this where this orange starts here. So we're going to have to get that off. So bear with me with the rain, but we're going to take this off of here. All right, so in case you were wondering, these are the original bolts, and 511 includes these uh, longer bolts for um, accommodating the additional thickness of those heavy duty tie downs. We're gonna come back to the tie downs because we're gonna install the grill guard and the wings onto this brush guard, and it's gonna be a little bit of drilling and because of that I don't want to have it attached to the tractor and try to mess with all that while I do that. All right for the next stage here I've got the main part of the brush guard or the grill guard I should say from 511. I'm gonna insert it into the frame here and mark it for drilling. Tell you it's a great fit. It doesn't doesn't need any torque to get it in there. I think it just sits right in there. It's easy peasy. Just to show you, we marked four holes on each side. Now we're going to come back and drill them for the appropriate screws that were also included with the kit. So I decided I'm going to go ahead and pull off uh, the, the upper part of the gr uh, brush guard from the lower because I also have this lower grill guard that's going to go in here and it fits on to this bolt. So I'll need to take it off anyway and then I'll need to mark, once that's aligned, I'll need to mark for this to drill um, into this crossbar.
So it appears that it's supposed to go on on the outside of these spring, spring washers. We'll see how that goes. I've got a 3 8 inch drill bit and I check those against the bolts with a little so I have a little bit of slop <laughs> slop a little bit of space for the threads to pass through <laughs> should say and I'm gonna try and try and drill this with the DeWalt 20 volt handheld Darling, I know it's hard to let go. Soon I will hold you again. Longer days when I'm away, but we'll both pretend to be bold. So I found the hardest part of this installation is drilling these holes. This is not like, it doesn't feel like mild steel. It's quite hard, which is great for its job, but kind of difficult to drill through. So I'm drilling smaller holes, upsizing them with the step, step drill. And uh, you can kind of see how hard it is. Snap that right off. Uh, so going through some, going through some bits, but we got two of the holes done. We got, Four more to go.
<laughs> oh, I'm getting interference from the lower piece. I drilled my holes without without this on there. And now it's interfering. Let's see if I can left myself enough room to scoot it back. Don't know that I did. What I'm getting is interference between this lower grill guard it kind of pokes out just a little bit and the upper piece which is pushing my holes out of alignment just a little bit. It's hard to precisely drill holes by hand. Got what I got for a moment here. What I'll probably do is come back with the drill bit and widen that hole out on the on the grill guard. I, when I put this in here, I had the grill resting against the crossbar. And I measured and drilled my holes and everything, and it, it lined up. But when I put this piece in, I didn't account for it sticking out a little bit past the crossbar where I measured and drilled for it. So it was interfering. It still is a little bit. There's a little point of contact right here which made my holes not want to line up. You can see I got plenty of meat here. I could have drilled for these holes a little bit further out, which would have left me enough clearance to make all that work. So take note of that if you're doing this. Put, put a spacer in there when you measure and, and line up your holes so you have enough for clearance on this lower piece. holes or something it's got some extra on there you didn't know you got unboxing on this video too did you unwrapping it been very impressed with these 511 designs pieces very heavy duty very precisely made great workmanship appreciate that especially from a you know small businessman they reached out to me right after my order made sure I got everything I needed which was awesome getting a phone call from the company's owner when uh, when you place an order really says says something about that company and what they what they believe as far as taking care of their customer darling i know it's hard to let go
All right, so that completes the install of the grill guard and the wings. Now, this I do expect this does block some of the headlights, but you know the headlights were not uh, all that bright. We got the light bar on there. I'm also going to be replacing the halogen overhead lights.